Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Horsepower Obsessed. Today, we're gonna go over a little gadget that will cost you less than $20, but improve your driving experience tenfold, especially if you track your car. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and randomly pick the winner for the San Diego $50 gift certificate. All right, here we go. There it is. Robert, it's you. You get the $50 gift certificate from San Diego Designs. Go ahead and send me an email, horse.power.obsessed at gmail.com, or you can instant message me on Instagram or Twitter. Go ahead and send me a message and I'll make sure you get that gift certificate as soon as possible. Congratulations, buddy. All right, guys. So what we're going to be talking about today is going to be a combination of two things. Number one, we're gonna need an OBD2 port reader, which I'm gonna actually link in the description down below, so be sure to check that out, as well as an application for an Android phone or an Android tablet called Torque Pro. I'll also link that in the description down below. So this is the Torque Pro application. What we are gonna be able to do in here is almost unlimited. When it comes to your car, this thing will show you almost everything you ever need to know. So especially if you're tracking your car, this thing has a lot of invaluable information. Now, the best way to use this would be to have something like I do here with the Pro Clip, which you can actually check out the install video up here at the top right. But ultimately, we can just slide the phone right in there. And if we wanted to, we could even turn it sideways to really get us the best view of it and display the most information. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see there, but it's saying up at the top that the profile's not set up and little things flashing right there, letting us know that it's not connected to the adapter. Like I said, we do need a Bluetooth OBD2 port reader that will connect to the phone here and it pulls all the information right from the OBD2 port. I'm gonna show you that in a second, but like I said, check out the description down below if you wanna get one for yourself. They're real cheap. It's gonna be about $15 and then the Torque Pro application for Android is gonna be another four or $5. I've had the Torque Pro application for, oh man, probably five to six years at this point. I've been using it forever. And honestly, it comes in handy so often, it's unbelievable. The OBD2 port reader will actually allow you to check fault codes. So if you have a check engine light, you can plug that in, run your phone application, hit fault codes, and it will show you exactly what your check engine light is and even allow you to Google it to see what quick fixes might exist or if it's something common for your car, whatever the case may be. It will allow you to do that all right from the app. Secondly, what we're gonna focus on today will be this one right here, which is called real-time information. If we select that, it actually gives us just a default layout of a bunch of different gauges. And you can actually customize these gauges. You can select additional ones, you can move them around, you can change the shape, change how they're displayed, numbers, dials, etc. Right off the bat, the default layout is an accelerometer, revolutions per minute, your throttle percentage, how fast you're going, boost so if you got a turbocharged or supercharged engine it will show you a boost right there and your coolant information now as you can see it says no data because i haven't plugged in my adapter yet we're going to get into that in a second but i just wanted to kind of go over the layout first this here is the obd2 port reader that i have like i said i've had this for probably five or six years at this point so they have shrunken these down even further the new ones are probably only about that big or so but um ultimately they do the same thing so this plugs into the obd2 port like i said and as you can see right there the little bluetooth icon it connects with my phone via bluetooth for those of you out there with the c7 corvette uh the obd2 port is right down in here right by the hood release once you plug it in you'll be able to search for it on your phone just like you would any other bluetooth device and there it is plugged in as you can see, the red light's on, just indicating it's got some power. The one I have here, like I said, is pretty big, so the newer ones don't stick out anywhere near that much. You can have them in there and drive the car at the same time. Now, once that's plugged in, we're gonna come over here to the cell phone, and we're gonna go into Bluetooth, which, if you have an Android phone, your process will be the same, but if it's an Apple iPhone, it's, it'll be a little bit different, and the Torque Pro application doesn't exist for Apple. There is another application you can use with an iPhone, though, and I'll link that in the description down below because I don't know offhand what it is. I've heard of it before, and it's similar to Torque Pro, but it works a little bit differently. So if you have an iPhone, check that out. 
But if you have an Android phone, just follow these steps here. Once we're in the Bluetooth, you'll see I have my Bluetooth headset already paired with the Corvette. So if someone calls me or anything like that, texts me, it's gonna go right to the actual in-dash screen option. But for now, what we wanna do is we actually wanna go here and press pair new device. Now this is automatically gonna start searching for things. Ultimately, what we're waiting for is one that will pop up that will say right there. Mine is called a CHX. Now, the one you buy will probably show a little differently here. It's probably still gonna be three random letters, but it's gonna be something a little bit different. So you'll wanna read the instruction manual to see which one you're supposed to pair to. But in this case, for me, CHX is it. Like I said, I've done this before, so I know that that's what it's called. Now, these typically have a pin number of either four zeros, 1234, or 4321. Now, I actually have more than one of these adapters i keep one in my corvette and one in my truck just in case i were to ever have any issues or if i ever had to help someone out so i don't recall off the top of my head what the password is here so we'll try four three two one first and see if that works and after a little bit of a debacle here i realized that this particular one the password was six seven eight nine so that should get us paired up and there we go. So you'll see there it is now showing with my currently connected list. From there, what we're gonna do is just go right back into Torque. We have to actually go into the settings in Torque. Then we're gonna go to the OBD2 port adapter settings, choose Bluetooth device, and it's gonna basically show any connected Bluetooth devices right here. And from here, we're gonna choose the CHX option. Now that will let the actual Torque app know which adapter to connect to. So from here, we go back to the main screen. We should be able to start pulling in some information now. As you can see, that icon stopped flashing, so it's reading my adapter. We can go into real-time information, and now you'll see RPM, throttle percentage, speed, even my vacuum is showing on my boost, and the coolant temperature, which it shows 186.8 right there. And if you look at the dash, it's showing 186 in there as well. The information is pretty accurate and it's pretty instant. For example, if we watch the RPM, I'm gonna go ahead and give the car some gas. And that fast it goes up with the actual car. So there is very little delay here, if any. Now, of course, information like this is fantastic, but it's really, really especially useful if it's something that the car itself doesn't show. So for example, my torque Pro application shows RPM and it shows coolant temperature, but RPM I can see by looking at the digital dash here. Uh, the coolant temperature I can see looking at the digital dash, oil temperature, oil pressure, battery, tire pressure, it's all there. So what do you need something like this for? Well, this will show way more in depth detail stuff. So for example, the throttle percentage, you can't get that on the dash. Um, the vacuum and boost, believe it or not, this car does not show you what kind of boost you're putting out so i can't see it on the car's built-in information system so i can go on here and actually check right down here where it says vacuum and while normally driving that would not be under vacuum it would instead show boost so that's what this kind of thing is good for this is just the beginning you can add all kinds of stuff in here so this will actually go through some of the emission stuff and let you know if the system has completed its self checks. This is especially useful for people that have an older car and the emissions are failing. If you reset the battery, these will come up and say incomplete, incomplete in yellow. And this will let you know when this full system check has been done so you could then take the car in and have it tested again. So there's little things like that throughout this entire app. And if you touch and hold, it will actually give you the option to add a display. Now for me, I typically like the digital display it's a little hard to see on a small screen if it's a needle. But these are all the options that you'll get. You can scroll through what seems like an endless list of things, and it will actually tell you as you're scrolling through that it's pulling information from the car. Things like, some of this stuff I don't even understand. I'm by no means a genius when it comes to cars, but some of these things are just totally out of this world, and you would have to be basically a tuner to understand a lot of them. But here's air fuel ratio definitely not something you're going to get from the stock car output that would be nice to know if your car is tuned what your latest value of air fuel ratio is so the application has extreme amounts of uses and a lot of this stuff would be nice to see on a daily basis even if you're not tracking your car one of them specifically is the iat2 temperatures which is basically the air temperature after your supercharger if those start getting really really high your car starts pulling timing and you're 
Z06 or whatever supercharged car you have would start feeling sluggish. So you could easily look over here and say, okay, these temperatures are 150, 160 degrees. That's why the car is not feeling as fast as it normally does. I mean, it, it goes down to barometric pressure. I mean, the, the app literally will show you everything. Catalyst, temperatures, distance traveled since you last reset your digital dash. And I mean, a lot of these, like engine oil temperature, it's not showing any information right there, but that is selectable still. This one here is really nice. If you have an ethanol or E85 conversion on your car, you can actually select that and it will tell you the percentage of ethanol in the gas tank. So the sensor itself would pick up that information, transmit it to the car, and then this will pull it right from the OBD2 port. So like I said, guys, this I'm not gonna go through every one of these options because this list is almost endless. And honestly, you can't replace this kind of information with anything. Having something like this available at your fingertips is absolutely amazing. If you come out of there and go into fault codes, of course my Corvette doesn't have any check engine lights, but if I press that, it actually scans the ECM for any possible codes that are current or were stored at one point. And it will pop right up here, and I don't think it's gonna pull anything, but if it did, it would pop up right here and tell you what code it was. It will be red if it was severe, green if it's just uh, a normal warning and yellow if it could possibly be something severe. And if you touch on it, like I said, it will allow you to Google it and find out exactly what it was. If you look up here at the top, it says zero faults. Obviously, I don't have any check engine lights here, so it's not gonna pull anything up. But if it did, I could touch on it right here or hit this button right here and go up to clear faults. So I can even clear the check engine lights right from this device. We're really only scratching the surface of what this torque application can do. I use it to monitor some things on the Corvette just to know what my boost is at, what the IAT2 temperatures are at during the summer if I'm driving aggressively, things like that. I keep an eye on some of the things that the car doesn't show me natively. Now, there are a lot of other things you can do with this application. For example, one of them here is called graphing. If I select that, this will literally allow me to actually data log the car. So if I wanted to do a remote tune for any one of my cars, I could actually data log it right from this device. Like I said, we're barely scratching the surface. There's all kinds of things you can do with this application, all kinds of different aspects of the car to monitor, and you can select anything in here you want. Like I said, there are hundreds of them available. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Let me know down below if you thought this was useful, something that will allow you to really monitor more aspects of your car and at a very cheap rate. Let me know if you have any questions about it in the comments down below. I'll be glad to help you out. But anyway, guys, if you liked the video, give me a big thumbs up. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot them down in the comments section or email me at horse.power.obsessed at gmail.com. My Instagram is also horsepowerobsessed, all one word. And my Twitter is hpobsessed underscore. I'll link all that stuff right here on the screen for you. But if you have any questions, feel free to shoot them to me on any one of those three sites or even here on YouTube. I'm happy to help and I always look forward to hearing from you guys. Go ahead and give me a subscribe if you haven't yet. I'd love to have you as part of the Horsepower Obsessed community. And as always, guys, I'll catch you in the next one.